To be a really effective leader, a couple things have to happen. Um, I think you have to communicate often. You know, a 7, 7.30, 8 a.m. phone call with everyone who's on the team um, and making sure that the, the priorities are, con are, are clear, that people understand the metrics that they're trying to achieve, and that um, there's complete alignment around what are the priorities for the organization. And so it's not just frequent communication, it's transparency with empathy. And I think that's really, really important. Um, and so there's an awful lot of one-on-one -on -one because uh, in many cases, unfortunately, teams are smaller than they were before. And so it's understanding where uh, someone is and how you can help them uh, and demonstrate that you have more confidence in them than they do if they are struggling. And there are certainly different demands today than before, but it's having that transparency about what we're trying to achieve. I think the third one is uh, why you need um, decisive leaders. I really think it's um, listening to your team because uh, especially in a multi-unit level, you know what, they know a lot more and better about what's going on in their community, in their restaurant or retail unit than you possibly could know in the support center. And I've always said, there's a reason why the Lord gave us two ears and one mouth and that we should be listening twice as much. Uh, and that um, you have to have the confidence in your people that you have the right people and they will lead you to the right path once it's very clear on what you're trying to achieve. Obviously, without trust and integrity in terms of your word is your bond, um, you can really have some uh, challenges there. In these times, coaching and feedback, you know, as I said, one-on-ones with people is more important than ever. And then um, I said, uh, the last piece is once you have defined what your uh, goals are and your uh, metrics, you've got to measure them, reassess, and constantly provide that feedback.